गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द फिजिक्स क्लास सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल सो व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट चार्जेस सेपरेटेड बाय अ स्मॉल डिस्टेंस सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इफ वी Uh, say suppose here that this is charge plus q this is charge minus q so students these are separated by a small distance suppose uh, if we a From the midpoint, this is its midpoint. Okay, M M for midpoint. So this is A. So what will be it, it, it total? So total will be two A. So students, <coughs> this is called dipole. Why? Because both the charges have equal charge. Means Q charge. and both are opposite in nature one is positive one is negative and also they are separated by a small distance to a so that's why this is a dipole now students today we will discuss how this dipole create produce electric field as we know that <coughs> electric field is produced by a charge now first we will see that uh, what is the net charge on this electric dipole so students how we can find out the net charge by adding the charges so students one is plus q one is minus q when we add this they will cancel each other and we get the zero so students now from here we can say that the net charge on this dipole is zero so students to create electric field any object or any body should have charge if it does not have charge net charge then it cannot produce electric field but here we can see that the net charge on this electric dipole is zero so it can produce electric field or not obviously you will say that the net charge is zero so it cannot produce electric field but this is not true why because it can produce electric field then how it can produce electric field see students now we will see here that how a electric dipole can produce electric field students suppose we want to calculate electric field at this point suppose this point be p now students p point is near to the plus q and away from the minus q so students you can easily see here the effect of plus q on this point is more than the effect of minus q because it is away from that so electric field due to plus q is stronger than the electric field due to minus q if <clears throat> the electric field <coughs> due to both the points is same then it will cancel each other suppose the electric field produced by plus q is e plus and minus q e minus and when we calculate the total electric field at point p then we have to add this okay 
so in this way we have to add these two electric fields due to plus q and minus q and when we add this as we know that the electric field due to positive charge and electric field due to negative charge are not same so they will not cancel each other if they are same then they will cancel each other and we got zero electric field but as <coughs> electric field due to plus charge is more than the electric field in minus charge then there will be definitely a net electric field so students <coughs> it the electric dipole will produce a net electric field at point p similarly we can see the <coughs> electric field at another point suppose now our point is somewhere here so you can see from here that the distance from minus q is less than the distance from plus q charge so students electric field at point p due to minus q charge is more than the electric field at point p due to plus q charge so there will be definitely a net electric field now students <coughs> in this way we can say that electric dipole produce electric field so why it produce electric field why uh, the distance is for from minus q is less from plus q is more because they have distance they are separated by a small distance if they are not separated suppose this is plus q and this is minus q they are not separated they are one then the if we consider point p then they both have same distance then if we consider any point p from if at here then we see that distance is same from plus q and minus q so in this way the electric field due to plus q and minus q will cancel each other and we get net electric field zero but they are not combined they are separated by a small distance so that's why <coughs> there will be definitely some electric field so in this way this is the concept this is the answer to the question that why an electric dipole produce electric field so students you have to also answer this question like this so students <coughs> this is its answer what is a electric dipole field why does the electric dipole field at large distance fall off faster than 1 by r square <coughs> so students in this way you can answer this question now in the next video we will discuss the electric field due to uh, electric dipole at axial point and equatorial point and we will also discuss that what is axial point and what is equatorial point thanks for attending class